Hello there. Today I'm going to show you how to read your Xbox 360 NAND using the NAND X device. And I'm going to show you how to solder on the NAND X wired header. This is a Falcon motherboard. I've already confirmed that it is uh, pre NXE and J taggable. Um, and I'm going to show you how I did that. First thing you're going to do is with a Q-tip, you are going to clean the J2-D2 area here. You are then going to use a scratch pen and just back and forth, clean, just to clean it up so the solder sticks better. You're going to apply some flux, just a little bit of flux paste, and then you're going to add solder. Then you are going to wire or solder the uh, header on. like so now this doesn't need to be perfect simply because it is not permanent unless you want it to be Then over here, I'm going to solder the two wires, the green and the purple. Like so. Then you are going to hook up the NAND X. Here is the NAND X hooked up um, to the computer via USB. Now you're also going to give your Xbox motherboard power via the power supply. However, you do not turn the Xbox on, you simply plug it in. Now, once you have the Nandex wired up, you're going to go to JTAG Tool. You're going to select USB for your device type. And for your console type uh, would be your motherboard. In this case, it's a Falcon. And you're going to click on Read Nand. And as you can see, it reads uh, pretty fast. It's about uh, a minute, I'd say, a minute or less. Also, you're going to need degraded 1.1 to verify your CB, and you're going to need a hex editor. And I'll show you exactly uh, what to do once it's done reading. And press any key to continue. And we're going to save this as NAND6, as I have already 
read uh, the NAND five times now. Once it's saved, you're going to open up Degraded. And you're going to take your NAND1, copy and paste it, and then you're going to rename it to, in this case, as you can see, I already have Degraded Edit, but we'll just name it NAND1 Degraded 2. Open it with HXD Hex Editor. You're going to hit your Insert key on your keyboard, and you're going to change 2004-2007 to 2004-2005. You're going to exit and save. Then, in Degraded, open up NAND2, and this will allow you to view your CB version, which on the Falcon 5761 is confirmed as JTAGable. Now, the reason why you change the date is because the graded um, was set up for uh, first generation Xboxes, which the NAND carried 2004 to 2005. If you see, if you open up a regular NAND that has not been changed, the date has not been changed, you'll get couldn't read file. Once that's done, and you've confirmed your NAND, um, that's about it. You'll write Zealous, uh, get your DV or C CPU key, create your free boot, and uh, go from there. If you need instructions on how to do that, see my other tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is strictly for the NAND X as far as reading and verifying your NANDs, nothing else. Um, if you have any questions, just ask and I'll do my best to help. Thank you for watching.